Hi, I'm here with Richard Hunter, Senior Analyst of Gartner, and we're talking about IT and growth and how IT can be used to help companies grow. Richard, difficult economic environment at the moment. Can IT be used by companies to help them uh, grow out of the recession? Well, IT is in fact one of the important levers of growth. Uh, the most important thing for any organization is to understand that IT is a tool and that tools are designed to produce outcomes. So the first question an organization needs to answer is how does it intend to grow and what role will te technology play in enabling and or supporting that growth. And uh, you know a lot of organizations tend to think that the acquisition of the technology is an end in itself. That's not a path to growth. The path to growth it lies in understanding what you want to do and what technologies will help you do it. Richard, I guess companies are like individuals. Sometimes they jump on the latest technology without perhaps thinking through all the implications. What are the pros and cons of doing that? Well, uh, I can think of more cons than pros. Uh, just because everybody is doing something doesn't necessarily mean that I should be doing it. Uh, before I know whether I want to use a particular technology, I, I need to know something about how I want to relate to my markets, to my customers, to my suppliers. I need to know what this technology is going to do for me. And uh, for an organization that's interested in the buzz, but doesn't know the answers to those questions, the best thing to do is to create some hypotheses about how the technology might help them do business, and then run some experiments to see whether the hypotheses are correct or incorrect. And regardless of what answer they get to those questions, it's going to be interesting, and it'll teach them something that they didn't know before. Should they, I mean, if they set up a pilot project, for example, are the ways that uh, presumably they should have, uh, before they do that, they should have a real idea about how they're going to measure the outcome and decide whether or not the, the trial is a success? They should certainly have an idea of what outcomes they hope to achieve. It's important to keep in mind with innovative technologies that uh, often when they're introduced, people really don't understand the full range of what's possible with them. Uh, think of the personal computer, for example. Um, in those cases, in, uh, the organization should be alert to the possibility that something is going to appear in their testing that they hadn't anticipated. And they should not be so tightly focused on the hypothesis they're trying to test that they don't recognize that something else very important is happening. Good. I mean, there obviously are some broad technologies around at the moment that we know companies are thinking about implementing and I'd, I'd pick two, social networking and cloud computing seem to be big buzzwords. Are they the sorts of things that companies should be exploring as a way to expand their business or get closer to customers? Are they useful? They are certainly useful. Whether they're useful to everyone in the same way is an entirely different question. It's clear that there's enough momentum behind these, these phenomena. Uh, social media, of course, is more than a technology. It's, uh, it's a new way for people to relate to each other. Uh, there's certainly enough going on there that organizations should be asking themselves whether they can get some value. Uh, but again, before they pull the trigger on a major investment, they need to ask exactly what value they expect to achieve and how these technologies, these platforms, these approaches are going to help them achieve it. My last question, whose responsibility is it in an organization to think up new ideas and to import new technologies that, that may help grow a business or expand its reach? That's a great question. It's everyone's responsibility to come up with new ideas. Organizations thrive when they, when they have plenty of ideas to work with because, of course, most ideas don't pan out. But the more ideas you have, the likelier it is that something's going to pan out. And uh, the question of where the ideas come from is a different question from who makes the decision about which ideas go forward and which don't. Ideas can come from everywhere. Organizations that don't have mechanisms to capture ideas from every employee, every customer, every supplier, every partner are going to lose out in the end. Uh, but but uh, you can't steer a ship in every direction at once. 
And it's important to have a mechanism for, for, for making decisions about which initiatives go forward and why. Uh, it's, great, it's great for everyone to have a say, but not everyone can get their way. Thank you very much indeed, Richard. My pleasure.